Hello everybody and welcome back to Cozy Keep, where last time I majorly overran the episode because I was so super excited, super duper excited that uh, we got a bit further in the mines. Um, kind of not sure whether to open the shop early or to go and make planters, cut down wood, and go make planters. Maybe we should do that. Yeah, let's do a bit of tree chopping first. Let's get the boring stuff out of the way. Because I've got loads of seeds now and I've got quite a bit of soil. So what we need is a few logs and planks and stuff like that. And then we can make a load of planters with a load of veggies in them. And then I can start making all the soups and stuff. Still haven't found out how to make milk. Um, Sadly, I'm batch recording like crazy at the moment uh so if things are coming out at weird times or i don't manage to get quite as many things out in a day or whatever uh that is why because uh obviously this wisdom tooth appointment is in less than a week now <laughs> like it's just just after the weekend so i need to have cover for that because i am very likely not going to be feeling too great after that. I'm going to need to just take some time out. I won't be uh, possibly... Well, I might be on my phone replying to comments, but we'll see how I feel. Uh, I might just be like, I need to just sleep. Sleeping helps with the healing, doesn't it? So that's what I may need to do. Sleep and read my book or something. But I will, I'll try my best to stay in touch over it anyway. Um, right. Let's go downstairs and make a whole bunch of planks. Do I have any planks in my inventory? Not really. Let's go make like at least like, I don't know, 12 or something. Or what I could do is make like all of this into, no, no, let's not make all of it into, maybe just 12. Maybe 15, okay. That's 15. And I've still got some logs left as well. Right, so what I want to do is get more and more and more stuff growing in this garden. Because it's doing great. I mean, it's basically like, it's free stuff. It's amazing. It's kind of free stuff. Uh, so the potatoes are gone now. Potato seeds and the tomato seeds. So I need to get both of those. Should we go to should we go to farm lady? Let's go to farm lady. She's cheaper. Cheaper than catalogue and it's quicker as well. Oh my inventory's too full to sprint right now. Uh That's probably good for those of you that don't like the motion blur, sorry. In fact, is that something I can turn up that you can turn off? I would like to see about that because You know what, I can turn it down. Maybe let's have it on medium for a bit. And maybe that'll be a bit helpful to those of you that struggle with it a bit more. Because it's it's super motion blurry and that is just a setting. So you guys, if you don't like that and you are wanting to play this yourself, you don't have to have it on. Um... What do you have for sale? Let's see. Tomato seed. I just want one at the moment. I don't want to go too crazy. What was the other thing? It was potato, wasn't it? Well, I've got a lot of seeds. Oh, are you kidding me? Grrr. Why do I do this to myself? I'm so impatient with my, um... <laughs> oh, I am so utterly, utterly impatient with my inventory management and sorting out and stuff. I really, really am. I'm always like, I've got ideas. I want to do this. I want to do that. 
I want to do the other. Or I could just come back from the mines and stuff. Alright, let's get downstairs. And put away things like I've got iron bars and gold bars and all that sort of stuff now. And nuts and bolts and coal and dead iron bones and rocks and more iron bars and gold ingots and... <laughs> so much stuff. Sticks. I'll get there, guys. I'll get there. Right, I want to keep the logs and plants and tomato seeds. We'll have to go back for potato seeds later. Um, but let's just see how much I can do. How much I can make. Because I've got something like seven pieces of soil. Soil is pretty much the uh, the thing holding me back from making a lot. I'm still overweight, am I? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's probably from planks and logs, though. They probably weigh a ton, don't they? Yeah, they weigh a kilo each, the logs, so that's why uh, we'll be getting rid of that soon. Right, let's get my hammer out. Oh, where's my proper good hammer? Oh. Why do I suddenly have a stone hammer instead of an iron hammer? Did I somehow put it away? Because I don't think I can... I think I have to have a, a, an iron hammer to make this stuff, right? Please don't tell me I accidentally gave it away or something. Probably be like sat in my stuff chest or something. Um, so it's not in there, materials. It's not in there. It's not accidentally gone in there or there. Okay. But I also don't remember having a stone hammer. Let's just look in my tool chest. Nope. Food chest, just in case it accidentally went in there. Nope. Empty chest, just in case I stuck stuff in there. Nope. No, my hammer has just gone missing or turned into a stone hammer or I accidentally gave it away as a quest reward or something. Not good. At all. Um, okay, I guess I make a new one. I can't do anything without that. Oh, that's annoying. I wonder what I did. I've, it's probably me. I probably did something. You know what I'm like. Um, so I need two pieces. It's not the end of the world. There's two pieces of iron. I, th I think I'll survive. But yeah. I wonder what I did. Iron hammer, here we are. I don't need the other one. Gee, you'd think I'd have planted those tomatoes by now, but... I'm a nice little flower garden going on, don't I? It's going to be really cool. Okay. So let us build. Kind of the same over here. I don't know if I just want to try and just line them all up along here. Yeah, I think I do. I think I want to line them all up as ghosties, right? And then take away the ghosties that don't fit into my, like, scheme here. And that way, they will all line up nicely. 
So do I want to have like three? That yeah, I think I do. I think I want to take away two in the middle. And have a middle walkway. And then I can put one there as well. So uh, we need to remove the schematic to delete it. So I'll hold Q. That gets rid of it. See, that's a good way to line things up, isn't it? And then B. And then put another one in like that. And that's a really good way of lining them up. And I can just go from there. Right, okay. Um, let's put in this one first. And the rest of them is going to really be a case of just finding enough soil. I've got one piece of soil left now. I wonder... You know where the potato went away, right? I wonder if that was a water thing. If that's the case, I need to be a bit more careful. I don't have any empty buckets. Oh, come on, I've got to have... I had empty buckets a minute ago. Come on, there's got to be some somewhere, right? Don't tell me, like, half my stuff's gone from my inventory for some bizarre reason. What? I had four buckets before. Oh, I've got four full water buckets, that's why. Ah! <laughs> uh... On my own worst enemy, I swear. I've filled them up already. Okay, let's have a look. So, add water. That doesn't have any plants in it yet, so let's uh, add water to the ones that have plants. But maybe that's why my seeds went away. So if I add water, and then take the seeds out... I've got both seeds back there, so it, it might be a case that if you try and take them out without water that you lose the seed. So I need to be a bit careful just in case that is the case. So i put my tomato in there now. And what I need over here is a potato. Um, I have more pumpkin. Flower, wheat, beetroot. Yeah, go on, I'll put another pumpkin in next to that pumpkin. Why not? Why not have two pumpkins? And we've got onion and carrot in there. And that's all right for now. And I've got three more boxes full. So why don't I take a couple of flowers out? We could start selling flowers. I would love to grow beetroot. And I would love to grow a couple of wheat. And then I want to get some uh, potatoes as well. So why don't we go with beetroot and wheat. And that one I'll do wheat and something else. Um, right, but the flowers... No, they don't do anything. The soil is dry. Please add water to it. Let's go and fill up our buckets. And just fill up that last one. So it takes a little while to tend a big garden, but it's going to be really good. Once it's done, especially if you always get the seed back as long as you've watered it. That if that's the case, I'll I'll test it. It might just not give you a seed back if you've if you're harvesting out of a dry bed. Okay, so the peppers gave me a seed back. There's water in the bed. Hmm. Coincidence there, but it doesn't look like I can do flowers yet, interestingly, because I'm not seeing a way to plant them. I've got my flower seeds in there, but it's not going in that planter. So I'm guessing it goes in a different kind of planter or something. Maybe when we get our gold ham... What? When did they add that? I bet that was last time. I bet that was, um, I bet that was the update that fixed the cobwebs and the, and the farmer lady. <gasps> wow. What can I do? More inventory weight. 
Oh my goodness. Tool efficiency. Extra tips for my hard work. How many skill points do I have? I must have some, right? I've got five because I'm level five. Okay. Tool efficiency. Definitely the inventory weight. Let's get that. Tips and inventory weight. That's going to be two of them. Hunger and thirst depleting slower. Regenerates your health faster after you've stopped taking damage for a while. That's definitely great. Hundred ten percent additional chance of getting a special order. Better, more patience. Less thieving. An additional customer, regardless of your shop stats. No, I want the adventuring stuff. Hundred percent. I'm okay with the stamina. Hundred percent chance of spawning a traveling merchant when you open the shop. I'm kind of past needing the traveling merchant at this point. I'm getting a lot of stuff myself, and I know where to get a lot of stuff. But I will unlock as many of these as I can. Let's take the damage reduction then. 10% chance to avoid a critical hit, 10% less fall damage, and 10% chance to avoid a penetrating hit from enemies. Hmm. I definitely feel like these are the ones to go with. I'm gonna need, I've got one skill left I can take. Let's have less thieving then. Prohibition laws. Oh, great. This is amazing. When did that come in? Ah. All these special orders. Carrot seeds and cooked meats. So if I go buy three carrot seeds and two tomato seeds. Have I got room for that though? Let's go put things away. Let's firstly put the flowers away because I can't do anything with them. But that's fine. I'll, I'll you know, they, they're not going anywhere. They can wait till later. Okay. Let's go into my shop and put all the carrots and stuff away. All the ingredients. So we got carrots and onions and peppers and salt and potatoes. Let's go downstairs. It's going to be a lot of sorting to do and, and there's just not a lot I can really do about that. I, I don't even have room for metal. Do you know what? I'm going to take the bolts out and put the uh, iron ore in. And the rocks. Do you know what? I think what we need to do here is take the stones out. And just make this into a metal chest. Metal! Then anything to do with metal, any ores, any uh, bolts, nails, that sort of thing that I've made can go into that one. So let's see, is there any, there's some nails there. Then I just know where things are. And then that one down there can be for stone. And then when I get bigger chests, then we can, you know, be less uh, specific about things, but... So, rocks. All of them? Yeah, so we've got a whole thing full of rocks. Uh, and we've got wood and coal. Let's take the bolts out of there. The wool, the wax. And then add in uh, that coal, that plank, the logs. Is 
then into the materials chest we've got wax I could do with buying a bit more wax so, so I need some of that and some wheat as well I've got I'm growing wheat though so that might be okay uh, but I need to buy one more piece of wax just to open the uh, archery range behind I think I do want to do that what are bones for though what are bones for guys what are bones for Okay, I think everything else, oh there's wool there, sorry, but everything else other than that, there's bolts that needs to go into metal, and then everything else needs to go into alchemy upstairs, I think. And then hopefully that'll be the inventory management done for a little bit, uh, although I'll put that soil away outside as well. Uh, I should open the shop. I know, it's it's annoying to have to open the shop. Oh, I've actually got three soil there. I could make another planter. Plant more pumpkins and wheat. <laughs> well, that's what the, the merchant had at the time. So, you know, I'm just going to buy up seeds as, as and when. And we'll see. Um, but I think I will just put one more wheat in here. There we go. And I'll come and do a few more later. Especially if I can get a bit more soil. We'll get all of these planters going. And uh, we'll just do rows and rows and rows of planters. And then hopefully I can find out how to do flowers. What did I need? Two tomato, three carrot, wasn't it? And then I need to make some leather boots. Okay, I should be able to do all of these. There's no reason I shouldn't be able to. So I just need to get the seeds from... Uh, Farm lady. It feels so much better when you sorted your inventory out, doesn't it? And then two seconds later, it's full again. It's just one of those games. So carrots, it was two, wasn't it? Two carrot seeds. Or was it three? And then it was a couple of... No, it was two tomato, three carrot, wasn't it? Okay, so what we'll do is we'll take the, the three carrot first, then we'll get the payment, and then I'll use that to pay for the other bit. Okay. So whatever went with that three carrot order, we need to go and sort that out. Because I need money, and these orders are a really good way of doing it. Uh, that is not the order board, that is the latrine. That was not where we wanted to go. Alright, so let's have a look. Um, so with that, I need three cooked meat and four pieces of stone. Three cooked meat, four stone. Ah, oh, perfect. And I know I've got four stone in here. So that will get me some money. I think I may just do them one at a time so I don't forget what I'm doing. Then I can do the pumpkin and the boot. That should be easy enough. I have three eggs, a stone sword, and two wax for 43. I would have to buy the two wax though. I really do need to buy more wax. I don't know if eventually I would ever get like a... Let's open the shop then before it gets too late. Or maybe I'll get a merchant. I don't know if now we don't get a 100% chance of a merchant anymore. But like I say, that is fine. I can order wax on special delivery if I need to. Is this the merchant? Oh, it is. Nice. So as soon as he gets back home... I'm well stinky. I need to not be stinky when the customers are around. Let's uh, go jump in some water. Meow. Less of a stinker. Okay. Let's go trade with the merchant. 
And hopefully people will buy some stuff as well. And, I'll do, and then I'll do the special orders. Right. So. Do you have any wax today? You have carrot seed at a bargain price. Typically. Wax. I will take all of the wax because it's one thing I don't know how to get. And if you have milk, I will take that as well, but... You don't. Okay, that's fine. So, I need three eggs and a stone sword. I'll be alright for that. And now I've got the wax that I need for whatever it was I needed wax for. Which I've temporarily forgotten, but I'm sure I'll soon remember. Three eggs and a stone sword. Lovely. Okay, so boots and a pumpkin. What do you want? Cheese and coal. No. We're not doing cheese and coal anymore. We're not doing cheese, uh, we're not doing cheese anymore. I'm just going to tell them I've restocked the shelves. Are we at a proper, like, one star yet? Let's have a look. I think we might be at a full star now. I don't know how much money I even made today, actually. Because I've spent a lot of it on new things. I need 93 uh, coins by 3 days time. Not 3 days time. By 12 days time. I think I'll be alright. Absolute stinkers. Stop like throwing trash. I need to make a trash bin for them, I think. So they can throw less trash everywhere. They bought quite a few of the veggie stews, actually. That's not too bad. What do you want? Cheese. No, I'm not selling cheese anymore. Cheese is just so annoying. Right, so uh, I, I've ended up with 111 coins at the end of the day. Lots of seeds and stuff, which is wonderful. Right, so I need to get a pumpkin and make some leather boots. Let's go make the leather boots. That'll give me some more money as well. Right, let's see what we need for them. Uh, not stylish, just normal. Okay. It's funny how now I know how to make stylish ones. An extra piece of uh, thread. So it's three leather and a piece of thread. Okay. Uh, one, two, three leather and a piece of thread. I'll take a couple of these. I forget how much wool we need to make thread out of, to be honest. Thread is made out of... Th of course it's three pieces. Of course it is. Of course if I've taken two pieces, it would be... Alright, let's just quickly make this. F. To make yarn, and then quickly make the boots. If I quickly grab the... What? If I quickly grab the pumpkin on the way out. And then we can go and drink some water. Need some water to drink. Cool. Uh, I'm a bit hungry as well, but uh, don't worry about that too much. I need to go and see uh, uh, Gooby as well. So I'm going to put those carrot seeds that I got away. Okay, that's 
hand in the pumpkin and the boots. Right, so now I need two tomato seeds, a mallet and a... Is it a single stone arrow? No, it's two stone arrows. Okay, let's go and buy two tomato seeds. But yeah, when I get good offers from the merchant, I will buy up all the seeds. Just because that's gonna really help later on, I imagine. Okay, Mrs. Can we have two tomato seeds, please? Because you are cheaper than ordering from the catalogue. Obviously, the cheapest is the travelling merchant. You don't really want to have to be buying these from her. Because it's going to cost me 22 and I'll only get 33 back. But still, it will be a profit for me. So, two stone arrows. Uh, two stone arrows and a, a wooden mallet. So let's make a wooden mallet. Oh, unless I already have one. Oh, I should check the tool chest in case I already have one. Because sometimes I've still got my wooden tools when I've upgraded them. Oh, but we don't have a mallet. That's fine. Alright, let's uh, make a mallet then. So I need uh, three sticks and a log. I think I can manage that. One, two, three, one. And this is just, just going to help with the whole money situation. And eventually I'm going to need to make 10,000, but for now I'm okay. If I can make more vegetable stew, that would be great too, but... Oh, I need the two arrows. Forgot about that. Okay, tools and weapons. Uh, stone arrow, stone arrow. Deliver! Oh, and there's another one for... A wooden arrow, three wooden arrows and two logs, okay. Do I have any wooden arrows? Might do. I only have one. Let's see if I can make some though. Wooden arrow. It might it, that might require um feathers. Five sticks and five feathers. Okay, I could probably do that. I really only got one feather. Why do I not believe that? I got more feathers than that off the bear. Hmm. Are they in the alchemy chest or something? Or did I use them to make something else? Oh, there's two there. So I only have three feathers. So if I want to do that, I've got to go and find uh, a way. So why don't we go over to the bear and the skeletons and see what I can do. Because the special orders are basically what's keeping my profit really high at the moment. It, it, it's super helpful. Okay, so let's go over to the scary skeleton place where there's lots of skeleton archers. There's brute skeletons here now. Oh, they're rubbish. I want the archer. Okay, let's get out of here before I get to... Uh... There's a sleeping bear around here that sometimes has feathers and stuff around him. It looks like none of that has respawned, though. Okay. I mean, the game says let him sleep because he's really tired, so I feel really bad if I then, like, go in and start messing with his stuff. I wonder if the chests ever respawn. Is there a warrior skeleton hiding behind there? What? Let's get him. 
He dropped a stone sword and a coin pouch. There are a lot of archers in the mines. They might help me out. I don't really want to have to kill chickens just to get some arrows. That is like the least the least way I want to get feathers. Okay. Oh, well, that's sad times then, isn't it? No feathers, not enough feathers. So I either purchase the feathers for an extortionate price or I wait until I can get some more arrows. We've got four days to do that though, so I think we'll be okay. Right, so now the, the customers have all gone, we'll do a quick tidy up and then I'm going to the mines to see if we can find the rest of those um, golden tokens that we need to get. There's always some little tiny piece of something that's not quite right. You know, the, the, you never quite get to 100% on the cleanliness. Okay. I need to work on the shop appeal a lot more as well. How's my inventory looking? Oh, okay. I think we have a, a little errand to do first then. I'll do wool tomorrow maybe. Because I really, really want to do the mines right now. Got no stamina left to jump the fence. <laughs> Love it. Okay, so, hello Gooby. I heard you like trash. I've got three for you today. How good is that? Oh, he's so happy. Look at him. Look at his happy little Gooby face. Okay. Do the mines. That are five million miles away from Gooby. So I've still got a couple of things in my inventory that I really shouldn't have in there. I should probably get rid of that stone hammer. Ooh, should we get meat? On the way past. I'm gonna have to go back to the the inn and put all this stuff away, aren't I? There's loads of them today. Probably because I haven't been down here in a while. Come back here, you. Uh, is that all of them? I think so. I got 20 meat out of that. That's decent. And I can put that into like soups and stews and things. And then if I have a big surplus, I'll cook it into raw meat. But I'm also looking for any mushrooms. The problem is I know where everything is that I need to get. And... I know I can. I know I need to make a lot of these soups and stews, so uh, I'm going to be getting the stuff together for that. Oh, we had a really good mushroom respawn. Nice. Ah, I can't get out. <laughs> okay, I didn't do the other one. All right, well we're on our way to the mines anyway, so let's <laughs> just go in. What I'm really hoping is that I can find all of these little gold runes that we need to find. So let's just start at the very beginning. We first found, uh, we did find one in the fireplace here. I think I'm on something like two or three. We found one here. So they are all over the place. I'm going to check all the chests that I've already looked in. I want to check in all of the... All of the places. Okay, we've got some skeletons here. Oh no, I'm hungry. Well, rats. Uh, of all the annoying things to have happened... And I have meat on me, but it's not, like, edible. 
I don't have any edible meat on me. Oh no. Do you sell anything to eat? You sell mushrooms and stuff. You sell soil for a reasonable amount of money as well. Hmm. You don't sell food, so... <laughs> Send back to the inn, I guess. I hope I don't keel over in the way. No! No, no, I'm gonna get it. I'm, I'm getting the food. Oh, oh, okay, that's fine. It's just turned night. <laughs> I was like, no, don't, don't do it. Okay, so what have we got in the way of nice food that I can eat? There's a stew there. That would be all right. That's a good amount of food as well. Cool. As it very well should be. Okay, so now we can head back. I always go the wrong way to the mine. I need to go around the back of the tavern. Once I've finished getting through there, once I've finished all the puzzles, hopefully I'll be able to get there from the tavern itself and go backwards through it. But I know that that's where the mine ends, is in the tavern. Okay, so I've, I feel like I've looked in that room fairly thoroughly. Can't just leave iron here, can I? Maybe I can leave iron here. I can come get it tomorrow, can't I? You know. But at the moment, it's not really iron that I need. At the moment, it is gold that I'm looking for. They're just because you're going to give me health potions and stuff. And that's fine by me. Oh, they've got one. Look. They've got one there. That is four of eight. I didn't see any around there. So let's go and have a look around this area. Let's look in that cart. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's so where I would have hidden one too. Fair play, Debs. Okay. Why are they all here? Run away. Oh, no, I can't run away. Stay here and just stay really still. <laughs> oh, did I get what I needed? I did. That is what I have been looking for. I mean, I'll still stay in here for a bit. But I needed that second piece of gold ore to start... Is that a... That's a stone sword, actually. That's fine. Right, let's have a look in... Look around here. Look behind him. Look behind there. Yeah, that's six. They like hiding things behind things as well as inside things. So I've got two more to find. That's seven. 
One more to find. Oh, you're an archer. Maybe you'll give me some bow and arrows. Yeah, that was too much to hope for, wasn't it? So I found a few around here already. One more to find. I already found the one that was in there. Big health potion. If I look enough, I'll find it. I'm sure it will. It can't be up there because I can't get to there at the moment. <gasps> gotcha! Oh well, that's all the root gate runes. Let's go. So this episode, we're going to get all the gold stuff now that I've been wanting for ages. Oh, I think I'm getting a bit tired now. I might need to get out of here, but... Find all eight missing runes and unlock the fourth gate. Oh no. Ah, got a bit overexcited there. Okay, well, I don't know whether I have to go and grab my items before I sleep. I think it might just be a good idea to go and do that. How am I so much faster at going to the mines when I have a, a, a marker? I should just put a marker down, shouldn't I, from the map? Rather than just going the wrong way all the time. Okay, let's head back with my ill-gotten gains. I'm doing so well though for money and stuff. I feel like it's really starting to come together. But there's just so much to do all the time. Okay. So, hello Mr. Henry. I will interact with you and pet you, and maybe one day... Oh! Henry is actually getting um, petting points now. Either that or I've just petted him enough to finally get the first one. I'm not sure which. Let us sleep. Okay, so I'm a little bit needing the loo and a little bit... Probably a little bit hungry. So let's go and use the latrine first thing, and then I'm going to go and see what I can do now with my gold hammer. I've definitely got the stuff to make a gold hammer, I just don't have gold stuff unlocked. Uh, so now I've got my... I'm hoping it's only two that is required, not three. But now I've got my two gold uh, ores, then hopefully, fingers crossed, we should be all go. Make a gold bar. Shopkeeper knowledge for gold. Perfect. Gold age. Reach knowledge tier four. Yes. So now, my little build hammer. That should be a gold one, right? Gold shovel. Golden hammer. This is what we need. Okay, so I need three gold ingots, one iron ingot, and one log. I think I have all of that. You. Here we are, gold hammer, here we come. Let's have a look and see if there's like, there's golden armor that gives you so much better protection as well. So we'll start saving up all the gold that's coming from all the, the kills we're doing and slowly start upgrading. Um, I've only got one gold ingot left after the hammer though, but the hammer was so important to, to get in gold. Because that's going to be all of the... That'll probably be how I plant flowers and things like that, for example. So let's have a look at what the build menu looks like with gold now. Okay, so we've got a spear rack, a sword rack, a bow hanger, a barrel. We've got a shield wall hanger. So all of the stuff for our 
We've got a window flower planter. No, we already have that, I think. We've got a royal cat bed. Nothing's too expensive for our beloved. I haven't even made a cat bed yet. I really should. Yarn, fabric, and wool. I mean, is, is that too much to ask? Fabric, wheat, and yarn. Was that too much to ask? <laughs> Let's make a nice cat bed for Henry at some point in this episode. Um, okay, so decoration-wise, we've got some new flags. Uh, some crossed spears, ornamental axes. Bookshelf, decorative shield, decorative sword. Various various decorative sort of shields. Um, rugs, we've got new rugs. Really, really pretty rugs. I can make a suit of armour. Mini tree, flower pedestals, all sorts of things. Now I've got hanging flower pots and things like that that I can put outside. Instead of just the wooden beam, I can have these sorts of things. A charm, I've got a chain, I've got a dream catcher, hanging meat and a hunting trophy. Okay, cool. In terms of new lighting, we've got a new kind of wall torch that gives extra appeal. And a new royal chandelier. That would look really cool. I don't really have overhead lights at the moment, so it'd be nice to sort of try and add them in. No new stations. I've got a new bed, bed three. And it gives... Oh, the beds now give better rest quality. I'm not sure what rest quality does. Maybe it, it allows you to sleep for a bit less time or something. We now have the royal storage chest that has stack size of 50 and storage of 50. I just need one chest for everything I owned. <laughs> of course. So that's much better. And I think now we should have... We've got bigger box planters now. But I just still don't know how to grow flowers. So I wonder whether the flowers are actually grown rather than... Um, rather than out in the garden... I wonder whether they are grown on the planter for holding flowers. Oh, I need flower seeds to make them. So that might be the reason I want flower. Yeah, okay, so I'll probably build some of those with the flowers I've got. Uh, we've got curtains and things like that to get. Okay, this is good. But what I want most, for example, is a sword rack. Two bolts, two plank, two log. Because I'm picking up all these swords and I'm picking up all these bows and arrows. And I've got nowhere to put them. That barrel is for arrow storage. Okay. Let's start with the sword rack because I'm getting lots of stone swords. Um, I want to put that upstairs. And that can just go anywhere, can it? Seems like it. put it there but that would be blocking the the entryway a little bit i feel like maybe that would be good to put here okay so i need two bolts two planks two rocks which i conveniently didn't get <laughs> okay so uh two plank two log Two bolts. And then I can grab all the swords and put them in there. That'll be brilliant. It'll be so much neater. Lovely. So when I go and kill all the skelly bones and they drop swords, I can put them in there. Might as well sell the wooden one. Cool. I like it. I don't know where to put, like, um, pieces of armour. I don't know whether, like, boots and things would go maybe on a shelf or something like that. Or whether they'd go on display cupboards or what we would do. Ooh, 
with an arrow there. Okay, so. Now we've done that. Uh, the king has a gift for us. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's rubbish. We never know what you're going to get. Right then, so. King's gift. I get a plank and some leather. I swear. <laughs> I could actually probably pay my tax and I could probably also pay the family debt off a little bit. One percent penalty if you fail to pay in time. Oh, so it doesn't just end the game if you fail to pay in time. Which I would have imagined it would have. Ferdinand. So imagine if I make a gold sword and full gold armor, then I would be pretty uh Doing pretty well in there, but uh, we'll need to save up. An iron sword and full iron armor is is it's enough for now. Hundred percent. I wonder if I need. I probably need to harvest my veggies and all sorts. Oh, this game. There's always something that you need to do. And all I want to do is adventure in the mines. And so I'm going to I'm gonna a little bit like neglect everything else to do that because that's what my, my little brain is telling me I want to do. So that's what my little brain will get to do. I have gold now. I have unlocked a lot of nice things. There's no real need for me to actually go any further in these mines, really. Other than just harvesting things. Oh, no! Really? I, was, I only killed one dude. Was I getting hit by arrows? Probably. That's super annoying, because I've got to run all the way back there now. Ugh. Apart from jumping out of the river path. Okay. Luckily, it's not a terrible death penalty. So that's probably what... If there was a terrible death penalty, I'd probably be much, much more cautious. I wouldn't have been running right on in. I'd be, like, getting arrows and being all stealthy and everything. Okay, so you, oh, they're dropping gold ingots all over the place. That's brilliant because that's going to mean the first thing I'll probably do is get a golden sword. And I know it's it's absolutely ridiculous. Gold sword. Why would you want to get a gold sword? But sometimes that's the way. Hop on down here. It's an archer skeleton. Wonderful. Oh, I've got his bow. Nice. Got his coin pouch. Right, let's just uh, heal for a second. I'll take a sip of my cola. Because those guys up there just want to get me. And if they're archers, they can. They can, basically. If they're archers, they can. Let's just nip in here so the ones at the top aren't getting me. Oh. You're an archer. So annoying. Give me your bows and arrows. I need arrows. I don't want to have to kill all the chickens. I'm so... I'm, I'm so... Tender-hearted over those little chickens. Come on, die quick. Die, die, die. Thank you. Phew. Iron ore. Nice. Stay here. <laughs> I hope hopefully I'll make it to the gate this time. There's a lot of dudes here though. 
Oh, and they're archers as well. Brute skeleton, down the stairs you come. I'll run around the corner and we'll see if these guys follow me. But if I can just take them out like one at a time. I don't have enough arrows just to be using the arrows up. Feathers are too hard to get just to use up arrows. Run away. I think I do need this gold sword. <laughs> gold armor. Probably have a skill point to take as well, don't I? Archers are quite quick to take down. So I could probably get away with taking down all the archers. Oh yeah. Uh, zoom and I. Another gold bar. It was a gold bar. Or I've got three gold bar ingots and two gold bars. That's nice. Oh, what what got me then? Something got me then. I think it was a stray arrow coming through the door. Yeah, because there's like three of them. So let's just get them. Okay. If, I, if I'm not in sight of the warrior skeleton, that's great. Until I heal. Cool. There's a nice chest over here. It's locked. Do you remember how much I was struggling with the chests before? And now I'm just like, woohoo. I can't get that, that's fine. Brute skeleton. Isn't that interesting? That gate goes to here and to here. That's a dead end. That goes up to there. This is a dead end. Everything's a dead end. But I thought it ended in the tavern. Unless... There's a further way through here or something? Nope. Nope. Or maybe they haven't put it in yet. Because it definitely lets you go through to here. I do have to wonder. There's certainly nowhere to go, is there? down into the basement and read my father's note again. That's definitely that. That's fine. That just goes around to here. Which goes up here. I'm just making sure I haven't missed anything. But it might be that with the fourth gate, the other the downstairs gate will open or something, or or some way of opening it will happen. Don't know. I figured that that was the mines, but I want to just go read it again and, and see exactly what it says. 
I'll come down here and like now I've killed most of the skelly bones as well. I can come down here and like do some mining later. Oh, it's here. It's here, isn't it? It's this. So what I need to find Oops. That was not a good thing to do. Phew. Okay. Yes, I'd forgotten about that. So I guess we kill skelly boneses around here until we get the lever open, I guess. So maybe one of them's gonna drop a lever at some point and then we'll get in there. Ah. So that is my next gate, okay. And so far, so mining and killing more skelly boneses is gonna be the way forward for this, definitely. And again, I'm pretty sure it was a it was killing a skeleton last time that allowed me to get the uh, the bit I needed. Oh no, my inventory's too full to pick up salt. Oh dear. Okay, I think we need to go back then for a bit. We'll come back down here later. So I'm guessing that now I've been given uh, everything else has required me to sort of either make things. Unless I can make the lever, I should make sure that I can't make that lever and that it is something that's a drop. So imagine if I was just like, oh, it's on the workbench after like ages of trying to find it. That would suck. So let's just make sure. <laughs> and also drop off all my inventory stuff. We have done the portal for the day, right? Oh, I haven't. Okay. Oops. Guess we're doing that now. <laughs> A health potion still. Oh, I see. I don't have that many health potions now. Well, I suppose I've got more now, actually. I do have more. Big health potion. A couple of bows that I've picked up now. More meat needs to go in the food chest. This is mushrooms. Dead eye in the alchemy chest. I think I've got a sword, another sword, and another sword. I've got two hammers that I don't need as well. I hope no one's stealing anything from my shop while I'm totally not watching it. Alright, the merchant's only just come. Cool. What special orders today? Um, we still need the arrows, which is annoying, but a paintbrush, which I can replace, a water bottle. 17, though. That doesn't seem like a very good exchange rate, to be honest. Let's have a look if he's got any good uh, bargains today on, like, seeds and stuff. Oh, yeah. Loads of good bargains on seeds. And cucumber seeds and flower seeds. No, it's wheat seeds, sorry. That is great. Let's go put those in my chest and then when I want to do a little bit more gardening later, I'm going to have loads of seeds to choose from. It's going to be amazing. 
And I got them at such a good price. How's my little farm doing? So... Tomatoes are ready. I think the wheat and the beetroot might be ready. Yeah, you see, every time that I've done a planter that's been um, full of water, I've gotten the seed back, so I'm starting to think that that is... My suspicions are true there. But if you don't water things, you lose the seed. And obviously the seeds are expensive, so you don't want to do that. There's a couple of, couple of dudes wanting my attention. Run out of planks again. I just tell them it's done. <laughs> I don't know whether like me lying to them matters. It's like, yeah, yeah, I've, I've totally done it. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah, just be patient. Go look at other stuff while I quickly go <laughs> find more planks. Yeah. I think I might need another plank holder. You want cooked meat, coal, and bowls? Nope. We are changing... Yeah, I've done that one. I'm kind of changing what we're doing. So, carrots and mugs. No, we're not going to sell carrots anymore. There's a few grumpy faces today. But that's fine. They need to get used to there not being, like, everything they want. Uh, no. And no, I'm not selling cooked meat anymore. Not at the moment. They quite enjoyed the stews, I think. No one's really buying swords yet, but we'll work on that. Okay, I think I'd like to make a bow rack. Bow hanger, there we are. One iron in, got two logs. Should be able to do that. Oh, that goes nicely here, doesn't it? Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's where I put it last time. Okay, two logs, one iron ore. Bar, sorry. One iron bar. It's starting to come along though, is it? Is it that, that sort of starting to come along point? Alright, so let's grab the bows that we've got and pop those on there. No one really bought any, like, uh, any swords or anything, but... Lovely, so someone might buy those. Got all my lovely stews and things. Uh, I really should make more stews and cooked foods. And then work out what else I can make or want to make that isn't going to break the bank. At the moment, alchemy-wise, I do have some health potions. Maybe we'll go back to making to, to health potions then. And maybe I'll sell a few dead eyes. So I'm picking up a lot of those as I'm going into the mines, so let's do dead eyes, and let's do, uh, there's four on a shelf, annoyingly. <laughs> that's 
fine though we'll just do that so they can have dead eyes or potions and then i'm just going to go downstairs and see what i can cook so i need tomato onion potato meat i should have all of that carrot potato onion Okay, carrot, potato, onion, mushroom. Let's take the meat, the onion, the potato, the mushroom, the carrots, the peppers. So I don't need any of the other stuff particularly that's in here. For those things we do need, and I'm thinking that maybe if there is an empty chest at all down here, which there might not be. Let's face it, metal, stone, coal and wood and materials. But I might want to put like a little ingredients chest down here that has these sorts of things in instead. So soup. Oh, let's grab a load of sticks as well, because we're going to be making a lot. My inventory is too full to grab sticks. How annoying. Let's put away those gold bars. What, what do I need gold bars in here for? Like, seriously. And take some sticks. Okay. So soup, stew. Vegetable stew makes the most money. So let's just um, start with that. I knew it was going to say that. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it was going to say that. So annoying. Right. Materials. Leather. Wax. Coal. Stupid stone hammer that doesn't go anywhere else. Planks. Feathers. Can't do anything with the feathers right now. If that if that does... Uh, let's put the iron ore away until I want to actually process it as well. There we are. Okay, so this is better. So yeah, the vegetable stew is the most expensive. So that's the one I'm going to make the most of first. Okay, ran out of carrots. Ran out of potatoes. Need tomatoes for that. Okay. So what I'm hoping is to have like, uh, like I say, an ingredient chest that will have everything that we need to make all of these nice soups and stews. So now that I've got those, let's put them down. So let's have a uh, vegetable stew here. have stew stew here oh actually we have stew over there as well oh it's okay to be on two tables it's not like we have tons of stuff right um i've got quite a bit of extra meat and potatoes and things like that we've run out of tomatoes uh and i think slightly onions and carrots so tomatoes, onions, and carrots are what we want to kind of focus on. Let's see how much soil I have. I've got three pieces of soil, so that's enough for one more. And I will need four planks, two logs. In fact, should I go and have a look and see if there's more soil to be dug up if we're going to be doing that? That's just to the side of the farm, isn't it? I 
let me know. Do you think I should end the series once we get our way through the mines to the, or do you want to, do you want to see this like until I pay off dad's debt? Because that could be for quite a while. There's another one there. Because I feel like I'm making a really nice amount of progress and it's really cool. And honestly, playing more a lot more of this would be really good for sort of Wisdom Tooth cover, honestly, as well. But it depends on uh, you guys if you want to see it or not. And I think so far you've been quite, um, quite good at watching. There's been plenty of people watching at the moment. I really, really need to sort those two tables out that are just not matching the other ones. I'd love to get like some nice, but it is looking nicer all the time. We're getting more and more stuff painted. Um, we're getting nicer tables. We've got like, I don't, I'd probably put a spear rack on the other side to that. And then just have the planks and wood elsewhere or not sell planks and wood anymore. Sell bows and arrows and, and swords and things like that instead. Don't know. Anyway, what was I in the middle of doing? I have completely forgotten. Oh yeah, oh yeah, farm farm stuff. We were doing farm stuff. And for that I needed wood. And did I get the wood? Uh, no, I didn't get the planks that I needed. In fact, tree chopping time I think. I feel like I might need to go and like take out the roosters. I, I don't like doing it. But I don't really want to take out the chickens because they're the ones that lay the eggs. Alright, let's go get some planks. Make some more planters and then I think more more tomatoes. Our wheat might already be done. No, wheat takes ages, doesn't it? Wow. Ah, look, I can already put maybe some more tomatoes and carrots, just depending on what I've got. Uh, do I have tomato seeds? No, but uh, I could do with some carrots. Let's do that. Let's put carrots in there. And then let us make more. Why is it saying I don't have... I do have the stuff I need? What do you want about? Now I've run out of soil. But there might be some in the chest, actually. Yeah. Oh, how good is that? We've got loads of planters now. Yay. Okay. I feel like I might want to go and buy some more tomato seeds because I really need to, uh, I ran out of tomatoes badly. More than anything else, I've run out of tomatoes. So I'm going to be buying seeds based on what I'm running out of the most. If that makes sense. Oh, the peppers are ready. Okay, let's just make sure everything is nicely watered. Did I lose a bucket? I might have done. I may need to make more because <laughs> trying to do this with two buckets is a bit annoying. Just keep it going. Okay, 
するのねSo there's one rooster that is in the farm, and then there's one over by the mines. And, and they do respawn. It's all okay. Look away if you don't want to see roosters being murdered. Although I, I don't seem to give you any warning before pigs get murdered, so... Oh, it's two chickens. Where's your rooster? In fact, that one chicken was enough. Like I said, over time it will respawn. Okay, cool. Let's go make some arrows. But yeah, a feather, one feather per arrow is a lot. Especially when you're squeamish about killing chickens. So let me see, it's a wooden arrow we need. Uh, and I need three more feathers, which I think I've left in the materials chest. And that will get me what I need to do the quest. Yeah. Yeah, probably my big thing now. Like, I'm okay. For, I'm fine for money. I need 143, but I've got 15 days to do it. So we're pushing, we're pushing it down the road further and further and further now. The debt left is. Uh, let me see. Can I see the debt? 9,600. So we'll eventually be debt free, which will be amazing. So at the moment, we're selling health potions, planks, bows, swords, dead eyes stew and vegetable stew until I can get some more veggies in and I'm shopkeeper level seven so probably got a skill point to take thieves two additional customer I don't even have the stuff for the customers that I've got right now 10% less fall damage tool efficiency special orders that's maybe the reviews let's have better reviews better special orders so that one would be before that one i like having a skill tree now this is coming along all the time it's so cool but yeah i i also can't I, do you know what i am i'm gonna get my oh i don't have a paintbrush anymore it was one of the orders <laughs> I need to make a paintbrush, but I, I kind of do want to paint the in a little bit more. S at least some, please. Eventually we'll get the whole thing painted. I feel like that's my first thing I want to do. Okay, I have a paintbrush. And then I want to start doing, like, then I'll do like a window box and stuff like that. I'll put in more counters. We'll change these over to ones with pretty tablecloths on them and all that sort of stuff. It'll be very nice. I promise you. Okay. So let's get this paintbrush out. And let's actually do a bit painted. Uh, so what do I want to paint? Maybe we could paint all the way over into this corner.
Maybe we could paint along here a bit. I'm spending a lot of money on this, I know, but... And let's see if that helped the appeal of the shop any. Oh yeah, yeah, the more painting I'm doing, the better the appeal is. I really want to do the rest of it so bad, but I know I don't have the money right now. And I have to be sensible. Like, I'm getting there, it's probably now about halfway done. Maybe a little less than halfway done. And I have to keep money for things like seeds and stuff, so like, yeah, we, we can't, we can't. But anyway, look how good the shop is coming along now. We, we have sword rack, we have a bow rack, we have um, a golden hammer. We have a golden hammer now, I'm so, so, so chuffed with that. And I think we are just on the very cusp now of opening the, the final part of the mine out and being able to possibly then what I'm thinking is that beyond that the door into the mine goes to here somehow. And that we can then possibly somehow get into the mine through this. Um, there was a note from my dad here somewhere. Well, it doesn't appear to be there anymore. But I can only imagine that that opens from the inside. And that there will be some way of opening it eventually and then i will be able to be come down here and just go mining it'll be great won't have to like run all the way it'll be so good but anyway i think my friends uh so we we have i can't remember was it last episode or this episode that we changed that we sorted out all of the racks as well but all the racks are sorted we can now make royal chests so i'm gonna slowly upgrade all of the chests as well I don't know if maybe if I take the chest out of the bottom racks there, if I will then be able to do something with it uh, to, to turn them around properly. But that, like I say, I, I'm, I'm over that. That's fine. It's not something that's bothering me. The cobwebs bothered me more because it was making the tavern look rubbish. So I definitely think once the walls are done, then we'll be looking at putting some um, carpet down as well, some rugs and things. But anyway, I think it's time for bed. It's nearly 11 o'clock at night and that is also time for the episode to end as well. So we've done a lot on a little bit on everything. We've done a little bit of gardening. We've got some more garden beds, some more seeds. I've been buying up seeds so that when we do expand, I don't have to spend extortionate prices on um, the farmer lady. So any seeds that I see on offer, I'm just going to sort of buy them up unless I've already got a lot of them. So probably things like beetroot and tomato and things like that we'll be buying more of those but anyway let's go to bed and i will see you all next time so i hope you enjoyed if you did then please do leave me a like below if you'd like to see more please subscribe i'll let you know when the videos are out hope to see you next time in the meantime please look after yourselves and keep being awesome